and Shannon Jamagan. Thank you. And <clears throat> Leader, I too would like to raise the issue of mastectomies. It was raised in the door this morning by Deputy Colin Burke and it was raised in this House yesterday. I'm bringing to this House attention because of Alison McCabe from Dundalk in County Louth. Alison runs uh, Breast Care by Alison and it is her job to actually fit people for mastectomies who have gone through this. And it is quite the case that up until today, varying parts of this country had different funding levels. Whether you lived in Donegal, Louth, Cork or Dublin, you got a different uh, you got a different outcome, which wasn't fair. What the government are trying to do now is to bring in a standardised approach, which seems fair, which makes sense. However, the approach that the government want to bring in is a lot less than what is currently being offered, particularly in Louth. And to just put it on the record, at the minute, anyone who has gone through breast cancer in County Louth is entitled to two post-surgery bras, uh, one uh, prosthetic, one swimming prosthetic, two if they've had bilateral surgery, one post-surgery swimsuit. Under the new scheme that's meant to go nationwide, that's going to be reduced to €60 Euro towards the post-surgery bra, €200 Euro towards a prosthetic. Under the scheme as well, some of the proposed changes, and I quote from Alison here, the ladies receiving their first fit following surgery in the acute hospital where the surgery took place. That's a very unrealistic aspiration as the breast care teams and hospitals that Alison deals with are under extreme pressures uh, and don't have sufficient stocks to fill that out in a hospital setting. Second of all, the changes aim to ensure service users who are post mastectomy do not experience an increased financial burden in, a, in accessing these items. The reduction in allowance for these ladies will have the complete opposite effect. Thirdly, this procedure does not include products for sporting, swimming and running and other activities. Swimming prosthetics and post-surgery swimsuits are currently available to post-surgery ladies. The proposed changes will remove this element. Uh, as these people, as these ladies are not entitled to get into the swimming pool with their kids, uh, are they not entitled to engage in swimming which actually lessens the prospect of cancer coming back through lymph nodes that have been removed? So I, I just think, I understand what we're trying to do and this isn't necessarily the minister coming along doing this. This is the bureaucracy in the H HSE. This happened in 2017 when the HSE tried to do the same thing and I quote Minister Harris said, when I became aware of the current changes I intervened and their introduction is now deferred. It is essential that every woman in this country in receipt of post-operative cancer treatment supports continues to receive them. I want to be very clear as Minister for Health there cannot be cuts in this area. So that was in 2017. So I'm not getting up here criticising the government, not at all. I'm not criticising the Minister for Health who I think is doing a very good job. This is a bureaucratic decision that has been made by the HSE. This is now the third time since 2016 this decision has been tried to be made and on each successive occasion a minister has had to step in. I absolutely agree with a cross-party, a cross-island approach to it. That is correct. But there is no need to cut services that people are now have to get that cross-island uh, approach. This is something that is very dear to my own heart, particularly over the last 12 months. I've been a very strong advocate for cancer services, particularly in my county of Louth, and this is something that I'm really concerned about. And uh, I, I'm, I'm glad to see Senator, uh, Senator before me raise it. I'm glad to see other Thank parties, you. other senators are raising it. And I'm looking for a lot of cross-party support on this issue.